back. Daddy's back. Oh. Guess who's back? Back. Back. Daddy. Oh, didn't see you there. I'm Levi. We're about to hit you up, teach you some info on the Kappa Navigator. Because you don't know anything about it because you're dumb. These two boards, they come in two different colors. The white creamy one comes in a 147 and then a 151. And basically the darker color here comes in the 158, 161, and 164. They're not specifically men and women's boards, but the smaller one definitely has a more feminine feel. The Navigator is a powder destroyer. It's got a parabolic side cut, which helps you carve way harder. And it also is tapered, so that means the tail is skinnier and the nose is wider and helps you float on top of the snow way easier. The camber on this board is called the powder camber. Basically from my right hand here to my left hand, it's flat. And then it kicks up on the nose there, helping you float on top of powder really easy and really well. If you look at these sexy nose and tails right here, they're cut really nice. But guess what they're named? Wapow. That's the name of the shape here. This board on the flex rating scale is a number six. Basically with number one being like a wet noodle and number 10 being like a hard log. Basically it's one of the flexiest powder boards on the market making it super fun to ride. All right, let's get into the tech, the meat and potatoes of this board. This board has three carbon fiber beams that run from the nose to about the front binding and it basically makes it really lightweight Really powerful and really responsive. This snowboard was made at the mother freaking mothership factory. You want to know about trees? They know about it. It's the most environmentally friendly snowboard factory on this planet. If you want to know more, check the link below. This board has the FSC certified dual core in it. And it's basically one of Capita's highest cores that they put in this thing. You want to know what FSC means? That's the Forest Stewardship Council which is a nonprofit that basically replaces trees as fast as they take them down to make these cores. So it's a renewable forest. Basically the dual core of this board means that it has a poplar core, which is pretty similar to a lot of snowboards, but then it has two thin strands from nose to tail of beech wood. And this wood basically makes it stronger, more durable, and it makes it poppy and fun to ride. This board features Capita's new holy sheet top sheet for their snowboards. This holy sheet top sheet basically uses triaxial fiberglass on the top and biaxial fiberglass on the bottom, making for the perfect blend for strength and durability. This board features the Magic Bean Resin, which is basically made of 60% renewable resources and it's lightweight and super durable. This board features the new Super Drive Sintered Base, which is the perfect balance between low maintenance and high performance. This board comes in at 550 Canadian, which is an insane price for what you're getting. Basically, if you live in America, that's two bucks, maybe three bucks shipping. I'm Levi in Shreds, and you watched it, and now you're gonna watch another one, probably. Living in this country is about indoor skate parks and food. Cause seriously, man, snowboarding sucks and I hate it. 